Hello everyone, welcome to the Balrogs Boxer Basics Remaster. This is a remaster of the previous series made by Ronalo. He made the original series, so if you want to find out, it should be in the description of every video if you want to watch the 7 hour series. I think it might be 9 hours in fact. This series is a remaster of it, it should be much shorter. The whole series may last up to an hour. It will cover everything he's covered along with the v 2 and v 2 changes received in Season 5 of Street Fighter 5. With that out of the way, let's get on with the next video. Now we get on to spacing, this is the fun bit. Spacing is the most important part about Barog's kit, but being able to do anti airs and combos comes way before being able to space it straight. So, straight to spaceable, as you probably already guessed. I'm going to set him to do a stand light kick on block. Oh yeah, this is one of these. Reverse stand light kick. Thank God. So Shotos have a stand light kick. Stand light kicks are not fun to deal with his Balrog because they go very far. So he's gonna block it. There we go. He's gonna block it for stand light kick. If you pull his face this, he's gonna press stand light kick. You're gonna get punished. You don't want that because you're a Balrog. You don't wanna get punished. So you space it. You space it around a range where stand light kick will win. You can perfectly space this, but if the character's moving back and forth, they'll walk out of your range and some players will whiff punish you or you'll just be at a bad spacing. It's like, if I perfectly space this, I can get it to minus one. Uh, there it is. No, it isn't. A bit further back. Minus three. Minus four. It's easiest to get to like minus three. There we go, minus two. So you can space it. Me put straight, spaceable. Can get it to very low numbers. It's great. The only one which is like super hard to space is this thing. Because you're either out of range or just in range. It is spaceable, you're about full screen range. But you shouldn't be a full screen range as Barrow. Now, we're gonna go through how do you get to that spacing? Well, you're going to walk about a bit, you're going to walk into the range, walk into the range, and then try and come out and then space a dash straight. Walk in, walk out, space a dash straight, then walk out, all the way to the full screen, back in. And you want to keep adjusting your spacings. Keep them mid-screen as well, because after your dash straight, I'll have a bit of pushback, which is good for us. Because that means we have to constantly adjust our spacing. We're going to keep dash straight, we'll go out to the range, back in, charge just spacing and I got punished there because I misspaced it you're just gonna practice that over and over again and that's how you space it neutral Balrog's neutral control with dash straights is brilliant people can't move forward they'll just get bopped so we're gonna go from spacing without frame traps so we haven't gone through frame traps yet but I'm gonna use that one basic one for this whole premise stand me and kick stand light punch and then crouch me and punch there we go the least is good spacing. Yeah. Right, let's try that strain. I got punished. Not so fun. But now, if I do like stand me and kick, stand light punch, end in hard punch, and you can get a tiny bit of a walk back. I didn't do stand hard punch, so. Do a tiny walk back. And you're kind, you're almost spaced. You gotta walk back a bit further than me. Walk back. And you're spaced. So your block strings that end in like so you can do Let's just get him to guard off. Because it's easy work if he guards off. If they press something, you should be counter hit punishing them. But they're not pressing anything, you can do like Sorry. That block string doesn't work, and I remember why. Okay, so crouch me punch. That's the cop. That's the thing I was looking at. You do it backwards. So that. Advice your block string. Press down heavy punch. So we're going to get that spacing again. Crouch medium punch. Crouch light punch. Stand medium kick. Stand heavy punch. And we're going to set him to mash that stand light kick after this. It whiffs. That's your general premise. They can, it, they can punish if you do this. But you got to mix that up. You can just do walk back and they'll whiff something. You can whiff punish if you're capable of doing such a thing. I'm not expecting people to whiff punish every single like normal Ken does. 
But this spacing is super important. Because if I space this, I will have punished him. You know I didn't do that. You know I didn't block that or he could block that because he had guard all set. So let's get him further away. Space it. Crash me punch. Me and kick low. You can just buffer this. Like, it'll whip if he doesn't press anything. He can whip punish you, obviously. That's a risk, that's a risk you got to take. If he keeps blocking it, he's not retaliating. Plus, down every punch. Perfectly spaced again. If you walk back a bit, so what do I do? Space that straight, down every punch. Space that straight, down every punch. Space that straight, down every punch. Look at this. Perfect spacing over and over again. And this is your spacing of that. You can do some other spacing tricks with your lows. Let's try doing lows. Do like it low. You can space it so he can't place you with the lights, but characters can place you with mediums, like if I didn't space it there. You can perfectly space these lows. It's very difficult. I'd recommend only doing it if you feel like they're gonna walk about, but still try and space it. It's much easier to space than straight, in my opinion, due to the amount of pushback it gets. And where it leaves him. And that is your spacing. One thing of note. Can't space these. Can't space these at all. Like you can't you can you can space tap, but you're not gonna be tapping everywhere. And that is spacing. We covered that in a much shorter amount of time. Let's carry on.